Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. We are... Well, let's first have a look at our fleet here. We have this new battleship, which uh, we've mothballed because we simply don't have the crew for it. And we're going to go do a bouncer before we head back to... to fit it out and get some crew and stuff. We're going to do uh, this uh, bouncy for Gabriel Park for 268,500. Uh, he is near a gas giant in a system with a red primary star. So we're starting by heading to Sagon here. Uh, go to system map, uh, which has a gas giant right there. So let's try that. We don't need to have our Prince Ponder on. And let's have a look, see if he's up here. He's not. There is something here, though. Minor equipment cache. Let's take a look at that. Uh, Astral Carrier Blueprint? Yes! We are gonna be making those. I love the Astral. Oh man! Uh, the question is, can we make it out now? Because we can't uh, transfer jump. So can we make it to, to this guy? I, I kinda doubt it. We can't. We can't make it to that bounty. Okay. But it was worth the jump in there for the Astral Blueprint. That was awesome. Man, I can't wait to get an Asheville. That is, uh, no doubt, my favorite carrier in the game that I know of, anyway. Oh, there's some, uh, some uh, small fleets. All right, so where are we heading next? Suppose we should head home and kit out that. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there somewhere that we might want to visit? I mean, the Persian League is friendly, right? No. They're not. Hmm. Well, try attack is friendly. Let's see if we headed to Brussels and head into Brest. Let's try that and have a look. See if they have any ships that we might want to buy or something else else interesting. Let's not have our Sulfan and Tritachion join war against Celestial Mount Circle. Okay. We're burning so much fuel. It's a little bit crazy. 166 fuel a day. I think I'm gonna need to fix up our new battle carrier. Because that has uh, increased fuel consumption. And we're using so much. Oops. Uh, sell that on the black market. Sell that on the black market. Sell that on the black market. The open market will sell you. Sort. Okay. All right. Uh, fleet. 
by there's a Prometheus tanker we do have this tanker right here which carries 2500 fuel Hmm. Fuel per light year fifteen seven and a half. What are what are you? Seven and a half. So this is basically double up. And what about you? 9.38 so it's not too bad I guess it's just all our ships that are basically using a lot of fuel okay there's nothing we want there I might want to get a Colossus that might actually not be a bad idea let's buy two of them Um, fleet. We'll refit them when we get back. That takes us up to 30 ships again. So we're gonna get rid of some of our smaller ships. Uh, we could get rid of these two freighters. These three freighters actually with the amount of cargo capacity we just got and then I think we might get rid of you as well we'll see some of the heavier demodded ships and and the small ships might go all right, uh, let's repair our ships. Uh, storyteller, nothing. Okay, let's head home to uh, to Odin then. Where do we want to go? That way, I guess. Some debris fields here. Might as well check them, I guess. Point in not checking him. Oh, come on. I just want to get you. Nah. All right. Tarsus class freighter. Not a whole lot that we're getting out of those. Pirate Raid failed at Sylphon R&D. Made 163,000 this month. That is pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Can we just skip around this cloud looks like we can let's turn our transponder on or off not on off and let's head home what system is this beta the wood 
Don't know who lives there, if anyone. The Reparation Society have ceased attacks against PAC. The relief fleet TARDIS are successful. Okay. System Bounty Ruffakale from Sylphan R&D. Sort this, let's just store these things or give them to the resource stockpile. We'll store the rest. We are getting a lot of loot. Again, I know I don't need all these weapons, but I think it's kind of fun having them. It's not like it's holding us back too much. All right, let's have a look here. Uh, Odin, we have three industries. We have our patrol HQ, we have our megaport. This has been upgraded. Uh, should we add ground defenses maybe? Might be a good idea. Let's have a look at um, Freya first. So Freya has spaceport, oral station, patrol HQ. I think we'll upgrade you to a megaport. Seems pretty stable. That's stable as well. Nice access. 230,000 credits a month we're making there. 16,000 credits a month there. But once we get mining going over, over here, we'll be making a lot more. Because we have abundant, abundant, abundant. So mining over here is going to be awesome. And then I think I want to upgrade this to a military base. Anyway, uh, we have a ship that we need to unmothball. And then we need to refit it. Uh, what were your you have structural damage and increased maintenance? Okay, it's not great. Uh, we will strip you three hundred and sixty-three points. Uh, Let's see, maintenance supplies amounts 36. That is a lot. What are you? 36. Okay, it's not too bad. I guess. Um, all right, you definitely need an augmented drive field, right? Because, yeah, nine. So it was at seven before, that's too low. All right, so what do we have for mounts here? Ballistic, 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 ballistic. Everything seems ballistic. Are there some hybrid there? Large missile, medium ballistic. Right, so these two are definitely going to be some kind of point defense. Mm. Twin canister flak sounds kind of nice. Mm. Dual flak cannon. We'll take a couple of dual flak cannons here. And then we want some point defense, some small point defense around the place. Uh, 
What do we have for that? Frag splinter gun. First fission. Many flak cannons. Do we have? We have bungos. We have bungos. We have Vulcans. We have a lot of Vulcans. Let's go with some bungos. Uh, they're there. That should give us pretty decent PD, right? All right, let's take a look at the large missile. I'm kind of liking the Mervs, actually. Mm. Partially guided. I like guided. Let's try that Jakana Spike Battery, which is a Kadur tech thing. And we have some large ballistics. Sunburst cannons. Mm. So you were anti shield. Could put a couple of de devastators out there, make it like a serious anti-fighter thing um, your range is 2000 Let, let's start with the ones that are forward facing You're kind of tanky. 21,600. Uh, I want to give you integrated targeting unit. And the shield art is not great, so let's try giving you extended shields as well. The shield art still isn't great, but... You're kind of a in-your-face kind of ship with all that hull. Hmm. Six hundred damage a second, two hundred percent versus shields. It's also anti-fighter. Let's try you. Medium ballistics. Um, these were anti-shield, so let's get some anti-armor. Actually, Let's not put you there. Let's put hyper velocity drivers here. Four of those. That is damn nice anti shield. And they have a range of a thousand. Okay. So not in your face, but. Molars. 
Let's try this sunburst. Man. Large ballistics. Let's do some anti fighter there. Medium ballistics. Let's get some more point defense. And I'm actually thinking that everything here is going to be PD. And these four as well. I think it's already packing a pretty damn good punch. So just make it insanely OP PD wise. So let's get some more bongos. We had nine, now we have seven, now we have one. Uh, which is going there? And then we need, I think we'll do you know what, let's take some of you off and put you there instead. And then we'll go with Flux instead for the rest. And I'm actually thinking of taking you guys off as well maybe two of you to give us some more flux i mean without that pd that we have we do have a lot of pd even though i took a lot off i suppose we could do that Do something like that. I think that's what we're going to try. Then we have our Colossi here and they just need some PD and we'll go with... Uh, where are they? Uh, Vulcans. You need uh, militarized subsystems and you need ex banded cargo holes and we'll save you as custom so that we can just auto fit you all right so that should do it for the fleet um, you are coming up here next to the other battleship Let's send you up here. Let's uh, strip you, strip you, strip you, strip you, strip you, strip you, strip you. And then we can Well, I want to sell them, really. Well, some of them, not. Uh, let's put you into storage. 
Didn't I strip the omen? I did. Store, 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 store. All right. Let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-three. That gives us seven spots for ships. I think that's pretty reasonable. No, we have a level up. A couple of level ups. You get power grid modulation two, target analysis. You get wing commander, strike commander. Strike commander, strike commander, wing commander. Okay. Yeah, you're unassigned. Uh, I guess that's because the EOS got blown to bits. Okay. Let's see, how much crew do we need to pick up here? Let's first get rid of all of these things. Confirm. We need like a thousand crew. Seems reasonable to me. We need to fill up on fuel. And we could do with some more supplies because we are spending a lot. Okay. Uh, let's walk over to the shady person. Uh, uh, let's not. We already have an agent and we haven't really used that agent yet. Uh, what do you have? Persian League? No. Alright, let's head over to Freya real quick and see if she has any colony threats for us. I guess not. A 16 fighter durability. Minus 20% crew casualties, dutiful crew, unstable shields, efficient flight deck, deadly pilots, reliable. Where is that? Down there. Let's first see colony threats. Nothing. Bounties. There are actually bounties down here. And one of them is Temitope Copeland. Which was the one that we just were told about. This would be a really tough battle, though. A fun one. 64 days. What other bounties do we have here? 235,000. A lot of atlases. Sylphen wants us to do this one. Uh, let's see. This is 45 days remaining. This is 64 days remaining. And this has 60 days remaining. I think we'll go do uh, Alaska Yoon and then try and get down here and do these two. And before we do though, let's just take a quick look at exploration. There's nothing. We do need to do uh, our story missions. We have three of those. Uh, oops. So that's something that we need to look at as well. Uh, Barren Desert World in the Jazz. Star system. 
let's lay in a course for that and I think uh, since we're at the end of the episode oh wait the General Technologies makes peace with Samaran clan hegemony pack and diplomacy ceasefire so far no R&D okay well anyway since we are at the end of the episode I think I'll fly over there and uh, we'll be ready to fight uh, as soon as we get to the next one whoa pirate hit fleet where are you going oh you're gonna fire fight us well that is what we're going to be fighting uh, at the beginning of the next one i guess so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time